I've got the Ford Ranger PX3 and I tow the caravan with it. It's got a fair bit of ball weight on that sucker. So today we're going to fit a two inch lift kit from Outback Armour. So I've got the 500 kilo constant springs there. I've got the adjust, fully adjustable shocks. I'll give you the details down below on everything. And I'm also going to do the upper control arms as well. This bottom bolt here holds a plate on, so I just got to remove the airbags. And these ones are good for a two inch lift, these airbags, so I'm just going to leave them in. Jeez, they're getting the slot, they're getting stuck on, eh? I'll just take the weight off the diff this side. Go, drop the shockies off. <laughs> Just drop the lead back here out. I have to get that by hand, that one. Just got to drop the spare out of the way too for um, a little bit of extra room so these um so these spring hangers can come out and uh, give us a bit more room to play with underneath. The, um... Schwack? Yep. I'll just get you to lower that jack a bit, mate. Yeah, a bit more. Give us room for to get the extra one in. Okay, that'll do it as long as our brake lines aren't too stretched there. Maybe just up a touch. <laughs> that'll do it. Alright, we've got the uh, rear suspension component kit for the range of PX3. Let's see what we got. Pretty good neoprene. Good neoprene. These are all greasable as well. We've got the hangers, really heavy duty. Just a disclaimer too, I actually, um, I used to work on cars for a living and then I seen the light and I was a, um, a steering and suspension specialist. <laughs> no beer involved at the moment, but that'll come soon and then uh, maybe the specialist bit will disappear. So yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good quality stuff. And then also we've got the, uh, the center bearing uh, lowering kit as well. Just going to bring it down so we get that nice straight between where the where the um, the shaft splits. You want to get a, a nice straight line, otherwise you get plenty of vibration. So we'll fit that up soon. Nice. All in all, she's um good quality kit so far. Let's pop her in. And we all know instructions are for losers, but in this particular kit, it says make sure you use a grease that's supplied. If you use any uh, wheel bearing grease or rubber grease, you may end up with squeaks and rattles and probably immature wearing as well. So also make sure that everything's um, free of any dust and dirt too when these go in. I want to make them as clean as possible. We may have to lower the... Pop in the greasable front bolt there. Yeah, so I'm just going to do these up. I'll just do them up lightly, and then once um once we've got everything in place, we can nip them up a bit more. All right, you just got to make sure that this little locator pin underneath the spring here is in the back into the diff again. And you'll see it'll pop into place. There we go. And I'm just going to loosely put the U-bolts on now. And then it's easy just to manoeuvre this spring up and down, just get the 
the jack under the diff at the right level. I'll just go around and give all these a bit of a nip up. And then once I place it on the ground again, I'll just go around and just um, tighten it up, take it for a drive, and then um, give it another tighten again. I'll actually tighten these up now properly. And make sure you get them nice and even too, even thread all the way through. Oh, do you just want to bring that jack up? Make it easier to get the shock in as well. Alright, airbag back on, I'll just nip that up nice and tight. Well, on another favourite bit, we're going to go to the unboxing of the rear shocks. Check this out. So, Alright, we've got the, uh, the adjustable here. They look quite nice. Jeez, they've got some weight in them too. Nice and heavy. Um, there's the adjustments there. So they say they've got 20 adjustments. I've actually had a look at them already and um, I counted there's 30 clicks. So to start off, I'm just going to put it at about 15 clicks when we put it in. There's about 15 to start. I'll check that again later. But yeah, nice and solid. So it's a pretty simple job. Just gotta be careful, make sure you have your jack stands and another jack just to adjust the, uh, the height of the diff up and down to suit the springs when you're putting them in. All right, done the left side. Guess what? Gotta do the right now, woo. All right, I'm gonna do the, um, the center bearing drop kit here. What we wanna do is make sure that we get a perfectly straight line. I've got the back jacked up at the moment so that it's like it would be sitting on the road. Maybe a little bit of difference with a caravan, of course. Um, just get this tail shaft as straight as possible. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take these off. I'll show you the kit we get with Outback Armor. Um, we've got these three spaces. You have to use all these three spaces. So depending on if you need one, two or three above the, um, the center bearing bracket here, it depends on how far you wanna drop it. Um, I've already mucked around with this and three is too much for me, so I only want two So I'll show you how we're going to pop that in Drop these down. I'm just going to leave We'll do one side at a time just so it takes the weight of the the uh, tail shaft there So you can see here. I only need two above make sure you leave the bottom one in as well, but on the on the actual um, nut and we'll slide that into. Just gonna make sure you get. All them in there properly. I'll do that with both sides and nip them up. All right, I've got two spaces above, one space below now. And it looks like that line is fairly straight. Um, I'll just nip that up. Don't use a rattle gun on these because um, you might strip them and then you're buggered because they're actually fixed to the bracket. There you go. We'll give it a crack and uh, when we get on the road make sure we've got no vibrations. All right, time for the front now. Here, my favorite part, the unboxing. Ooh, here we go. One thing when you get, if you're gonna get front struts, make sure you get them when they're pre-done unless you've got a really really good spring compressor good gun and a bit of luck on your side um, it's a real pain to get the springs onto the onto the struts, struts sorry so yeah there you go good looking unit eh and then have a look down here we've got we got our adjustments down here so it's nice and easy you just reach under to do your adjustments as well they say about 20 I've counted 30 but 
There you go. All right, we'll pop these suckers in. So we've got our jack underneath, just taking the load of this at the moment. It was a good good timing, actually. I've got my um, my front right shocks leaking. I'm about to replace it, which is great. So make sure all the load's taken off it, otherwise you might lose a finger or something. Um, we're going to replace the upper control arm and the strut chest here. So the first thing you want to do is just we're going to remove these brake lines. Uh, we'll remove this sway bar link as well. I've also moved the, taken the sway bar link off the other side just to take off the load. And then um, we'll go from there. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Tenth time's a charm. <laughs> okay. Now, with the sway bar, just um, take the load off it. Nice and easy. There's this ball joint. Just when you um when you're gonna crack a ball joint, just leave the leave the um the nut on just to protect it. We're gonna give that a bit of a bit of a whack. I'm just gonna release the pressure there. See there it's cracked now. I'll just raise that up a bit. Takes the pressure off there. Beautiful. Pop that out of the way. <laughs> Check this mechanic shit out. And then you got to take the the arm and the bolt out at the same time. Undo these top three top uh, strut nuts here. Yeah, this one's super tight, but you don't have to worry about the nut because the nut on the other side actually has a, uh, it's supported, it's got like a little um, sleeve that runs down that's fixed to the nut itself. Lower the bottom control arm down, just take the load off it. Beautiful. And I'll take all the load off that now, making sure everything's out of the way there. And then, at the same time, before you take it completely out of the top, just grab some sort of bar in here, and you want to remove the bottom first while the top's still in. There you go. Nice and easy. And this is the good bit, to try and get that far enough down. That one there, that one there. Not that they I've got that after one point there. There we go. Just jack that up a touch there. Or we'll just um center that. I'm just gonna use my Phillips here at the moment. Look at that. That's almost perfect. Uh this is the this is the nut on the other side. You can see it's a nylog nut, but it's got this nice little Gucci section here so you don't have to worry about holding the other side. We're not going to do this up completely tight, we just want to make sure all the load's back on it again before we do that. Alright, now time for the upper control arms as well. These are, sp oh, check these out. A bit spanky. They're really, really spiffy. It's got the ball joint, the brackets for your sensor wires as well. Look at that. Underneath here, we take that cap off, remove the grease. Good. All right, check out the quality of this. So you want to pop this in here, just till it's about even there. Make sure that washes up against that. And then we can pop her in there. All right, and we'll do that up. But we won't do that completely tight either until we get um, until we get everything folded back in again. I'll pop that in there. And get that nice and tight. Pop this back in. Can I get you around the other side there, Nick? If you can just help me out. Oh no, it's all right. I got it. You are not needed. Good. There we go. That's nice and easy. But I don't know how hard the 
or how easy the other side's going to be. Oh, perfect. All right, we'll stuck. We'll just put all the other stuff back on here, all our lines, our sensor, our brake line here, and we'll pop the other side in. Good to go. Well, she's done. Looks great. Check this out. Really good height with the caravan on this is as well. So there's, uh, well, there's a few hundred kilos on the tow ball there. Looks great. Uh, just got a, I've got it booked in for a wheel alignment now, so really important when you do your suspension, you change the geometry, you always have to get your uh, wheels aligned again. It's just uh, if you don't feel it in the steering, you'll probably see it in your tyre wear. Anyway, uh, as for the weight, I use, it, it was an extra 27, just under 27 kilos difference from the old springs and shocks to the new springs and shocks. Well, I've now got the van on and going to take it for a bit of a run. I've done it without, given it a drive without the caravan and it's absolutely superb. Oh, how good is this? So I took it for a run. I set the shocks at maximum, then minimum. I've got them set about halfway now. I, um, it was absolutely superb without anything on the back. I thought it was going to be really rough with the 500 kg constant springs in it, but um, absolutely superb. And now I've got the caravan on and holy crap, Rolly, I've never, it's never felt so good, I can tell you now. It's just a different towing experience. Um, I've given some heavy braking. Absolutely perfect. It's just great. Oh, I love it. I should have done this years ago, in fact. I mean, I took it to Cape York, and the standard suspension was okay, but now, looking back, it wasn't okay at all. This is just amazing. We're heading off across the, well, Udnadatta track, Streslecki track, Birdsville track in about seven weeks. I'm really confident about that now. Uh, with the standard suspension, I was a little bit anxious, but now... Yeah, so I'll leave a link down below to Outback Armour where I got all this gear from and uh, all the part numbers that I specifically got for my vehicle as well and all the all the bits and pieces I opted for. Um, highly recommended to do this way. This just feels amazing. Love it. All right, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.